is going on YouTube? My name is Kyle, you have made it to Obsessed Auto, and this morning, it's not really early, slept in a touch. Shouldn't have done that, because I've got a full freaking day on that. GMT 900, it needs upper and lower ball joints, both sides, and then uh, owner wanted to lift the front just a touch more. Supposedly got an inch leveling kit something like that and so yeah i mean i don't know i'm i'm a little skeptical because it looks pretty level to me he's got 275 55 20s on it i believe that is a 33 let's see nitto does not do what other manufacturers do i was just looking some manufacturers put like od width stuff like that so you know exactly how big your your tire is in um murica increments <coughs> <coughs> so what we've got in store for this is ball joints we're just going to do the control arms that way we got new bushings everything's happy go lucky and then uh wait for that leveling kit to come in it's a two and a half inch moto fab i believe um not too terrible so it'll do i think what he's after on that putting you guys up on a time lapse might be interesting because my tripod turned into a bipod when jr and i were at pfi speed um so we'll figure that out but yeah that's enough jibber jabbering let's get to work all right 10 minutes in jack stands jack Sway bar end links are off, wheels are off. Um, got the 10 mils for the ABS speed sensor and the brake line bracket off. Next step is going to be brake caliper. I'm gonna get that off and hung up. Get the rotor off of here. Um, axle nut, tie rod end. And then upper control arm is gonna be next followed by the strut assembly and the lower control arm. So literally this entire front suspension is coming out from underneath this thing and 40% of it is getting replaced. But literally there won't be anything other than a half shaft just dangling out of there. All right, here we are. Got to fall on my behind. New lower control arm upper control arm fully assembled knuckle with the hub speed sensor everything's still on we got brake caliper tied up with some bailing wire um, strut assembly is out it had the rough country inch and a half probably one inch inch and a quarter somewhere in there um, for the leveling kit the new one is actually going to go on top of the strut assembly and lift this thing up approximately two and a half inches so maybe he won't rub anymore and somewhere along the line i got a splinter in my finger feels glorious so just wanted to give you guys a little update since i'm not putting you up on a time lapse anything like that but yeah we just got parts scattered everywhere we are approximately one hour into this Maybe just a touch over, hour and 15 minutes, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, basically sitting, waiting on USPS, UPS, FedEx, I don't know who it is, but it's coming. This side still has all of the factory stuff on it. About to explode this and get some new parts on. In the background, got an AC job on a mini bus. Current situation. I've got new parts installed, leveling kit installed. If you guys buy the MotoFab kit, beware. You will need either a Sawzall or a uh, grinding wheel because the studs on the factory strut protrude by about, mm, I don't know, three eighths of an inch. And then whoever designed this said, well, screw that. We're going to use bolts to hold it in. So 
definitely uh, interesting to say the least. This is the first time I've encountered that with any leveling kit on any of the GMT 900 platform. Usually they uh, clear those studs no problem because those studs sticking out basically your top hat would be right there and you would have space you'd be riding on three tiny pieces of a bolt so can't be having that so i took the old 12 m12 saws all hacksaw whatever lopped them off took my little brillo pad cleaned them up so then if and when that comes off um doesn't really mess up the threads a whole lot so that's where i'm at on this we just need to get these in there um make sure torque spec on everything is tight and then get this thing over to the alignment shop it is currently two o'clock in the afternoon on a friday so we uh probably need to hurry so catch up with you guys in just a second but i just wanted to interject and let you know that if you do buy the motofab kit be prepared to do extra work we are entirely too long into the future however we've got a truck sitting on its own own wheels again and it's significantly taller so as silly as that leveling kit was to install because of their designing it uh gives us about 11 inches 10 and some change maybe so it looks pretty good we definitely need to get it aligned because we did upper lower control arms as well as the leveling kit and outer tie rod ends so yeah we're at 5 30 um the shop we're taking it to closes at seven that should give them enough time to finish this thing so that i can get it back to the owner tonight drop the invoice in it that'll be that so overall the job wasn't terrible however they had i'm looking for it I don't know where they went there's one so they had the rough country leveling kit in it just these plastic puck looking things that go underneath um it didn't level it really i mean it added you know inch and a half maybe something like that they're clearly plastic um but yeah so the way that i like to do it is the hockey pucks on top they're not really a hockey puck but you you get the style reference um that has been the absolute best that i found for these gmt 900s it'll lift them you know between two and two and a half inches depending on which kit you get um this one should be two and a half per what i ordered they may be taking into account the extra eighth of an inch for the freaking studs sitting on the cup so anyways that's what we're going to do is drop this thing off real quick like we're going to get the diesel bus out of the way um yeah ac system on that absolute nightmare um but it holds five and a half pounds of freon so it's got that going for it still doesn't cool so i was just looking at the the tire here so we we're definitely uh cambered oh yeah alignment necessary all right check back in a few it's a new day we got the truck with the uh control arms leveling kit it's out the door he's happy with it he's actually sent me a text about 15 minutes after he picked it up and said wow the steering's a lot tighter i think my reply was yeah that's how it should be <laughs> so my truck right here we're having an issue of losing some coolant and it started overheating so we're gonna get in here to the old cst 500 we're gonna pressure test this pig and see what happens so when i bought it the previous owner told me sorry switching hands previous owner told me that the water pump was going bad that's been god i don't know a few months and haven't had any issues this is the first incident so it is finally cool enough from driving it today um to hook this bad boy up so the pressure test it's super simple just take your cap off yeah dude i can smell freaking cooling already just take your cap off you gotta do it when it's cold obviously 
gonna put the adapter on this is adapter RA10036 it's made by Mac I'm sure there are a lot cheaper versions of this but uh, at the time I just bought the real one all right get that down really push it down there we go all right and then I'm gonna set you guys somewhere and just pump her full of freaking pressure So we're cruising right at 15. So we pressurized the entire coolant system to 15 pounds per square inch of pressure. Now we just need to look and see if we have any external leaks anywhere, which this very moment, I'm not seeing any. None at all. I don't know. Let's see. So for burning coolant, that means these things are a dry intake. So that means either heads, head gasket, <laughs> means either heads, head gaskets, or block would be where we'd be actually burning coolant so hopefully it's none of those but if it is hopefully I've got enough friends that I can find either a used one or a company to to go in with and we can do do a little project because as of this morning I decided that I'm keeping this truck and this isn't going to be a flip so this is my 05 Sierra 1500 obviously six inch lift um, atrocious mud tires I absolutely hate federal mud tires cat eye tail lights LED pods in the bumper uh, backup camera I don't like how they mounted that but it is what it is now there's a hole in my tailgate so there's no going back uh, my paint Z71 logos it does have the typical Chevy rust um, atypical Chevy rust comes complimentary with a bug um, got the rocker rot starting I did put the tow mirrors on here well they had tow mirrors on it before but they were the new new body style like the the 2014 pluses the square ones I don't like the way those fit not with the cheap ones maybe the boost ones but uh, yeah so I put in the correct body style um, so yeah, this is my pig. But yeah, I decided this morning that I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. So we need to uh, address a few things. And based off what I'm seeing right here, I probably need a belt. Wow, this coolant hose is hard as a rock. Dude, I still don't see anything. I don't see nothing. Okay, hats off, it, it got serious. So, he told me originally that I needed a water pump. And I just found, figure out how to get you guys down in here. I need a hose. And or, no, probably just a hose. Yep. So we just need a lower radiator hose. That'll fix all my problems, I think. Call O'Reilly's and get a Gates. So, anyways, that lets me know what my issue was. Um, and it makes sense because 
been driving it for like i said about six months nothing ever hit the ground um didn't really ever overheat until recently we got up to like 240. um so yeah oh that was fun we're down to the last three pounds on this and we're spewing got to bleed the pressure off nice and slow otherwise you'll film out I'm gonna try not to get this on my hands because we're about to go to dinner I just thought about it so I wanted to check this out because we're down to one vehicle after I sold the uh, Tahoe so we've been all rolling up in this we're getting ready to make a trip down to Dallas and I wanted to make sure I got this issue sorted so we didn't have problems on the highway. Cause you know, that would suck real bad. But hopefully, God dang, I got that on there tied. I did good. Hopefully when we're in Dallas, we can find a suitable replacement for, uh, for the Tahoe. Sorry, the camera's kind of all over the place. So I've got a, uh, broken tripod that we broke when we were down at PFI and I have not really replaced it yet so that's on the list of things to do you know to do lists and such whatever it's a thing so yeah we'll get the coolant wiped up here engine bay is still pretty stinking clean probably do a little do a little something something on it when I do the the hose just because we do have a little bit of uh, stuff so with that lower hose being like it is I may just do both hoses up here just kind of a peace of mind thing as well as the belt and I'm doing the belt just because it looks like garbage so I can I can feel it and you can you can see the grooving in the belt so it's it's just time i don't know when the last one was replaced i've got i've got a replacement for it um but it's probably in worse shape than that one so i've got my emergency belt so yeah let's uh order some hoses and go from there but i think that's where i'm gonna cut today's video i do hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed what you saw today if you did please smash that thumbs up button if you do enjoy content like this please smash that subscribe button if you're not already so i make it my life's mission currently and in the future currently future whatever to put out good content for you guys um including but not limited to my own personal vehicle um flip vehicles customer vehicles you know whatever as if it's got four wheels an engine transmission and it goes I'm gonna do stuff with it. I wanna do stuff with it. So, if you're not already subscribed, smash that button. It takes one second on your end, and then hopefully you'll see good content. If not, you know, let me know. <laughs> so, comment down below what you would do on the Sierra. Um, if you would just put a lower hose on it, tap it on the butt, send it on its way. Or if you would do lower, upper, and belt. I think I know what I'm going to do. I already said it in the video. Um, but I'm just kind of curious you guys' opinion on what you would do if this was your personal vehicle and you were down to one vehicle. So let me know in the comments down below. And until next video, I'll see you then.